Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will take a look at concurrent statements within VHDL. And this video will be a part of a series that aims to explore VHDL concepts and how to use different VHDL tools to design digital circuits. The agenda for this video is as follows. We first take a look at what concurrent statements mean, and then we jump over and look at the different types of concurrent statements that are used within VHDL to model digital circuits. And those would be the concurrent signal assignment statements, the conditional signal assignment statements, and the selected signal assignment statements. We also talk a briefly about processes and how they are executed concurrently with the rest of the code, but contain sequential logic within it. So without further ado, let's get started. The previous videos assisted you in getting started with VHDL using the tools GHDL and GTK Wave, and it introduced the idea of a basic design unit in VHDL, the entity and the architecture. To recap, the entity declaration is used to describe the interface of a circuit to the outside world. This means it describes the inputs outputs and buffer ports. The architecture is used to describe how the circuit is intended to function. It describes the functionality. The architecture can be written in many different ways, but before we get into the details of architecture specification, which we will discuss in our next videos, we must step back and remember that we are using VHDL to describe a digital circuit. Most programming languages are used to implement functionalities that are written in a sequential manner, meaning that the instructions are executed one at a time. VHDL, however, describes hardware and therefore instructions are implemented concurrently. This means that all instructions are executed at once. Let's take a look at the following circuit. The circuit contains a number of gates that are all are implemented concurrently. The output is instantaneous to the changes in the input. The circuit can be expressed in VHDL with the help of concurrent statements such as this one displayed over here. As you can see from the circuit diagram, the OR gate accepts the outputs of the AND and NOT gate. To describe this circuit, we would need to first create the entity, where the entity will contain the three input ports, input 1, input underscore 2, input underscore 3 as inputs of the SCD logic type, and the output port, which is out underscore circuit. As for the architecture, we have used some signals to assist us in writing the architecture or behavior of the circuit where we have created a signal called AND underscore OUT, which is nothing but the AND operation of both the inputs input underscore 1 and input underscore 2. And we have also created a signal for the output of the NOT gate, which is NOT underscore OUT, and it is not the, it is the expression of NOT of input underscore 3. Now, to write the output, the final output, and route this logic, we would need to OR the AND underscore OUT and the NOT underscore OUT to the output port of OUT underscore circuit. Now, we can write this three concurrent statements in any order and it would execute in the same manner. And this is because VHDL is a parallel type of programming language, meaning that all statements written uh, will be executed concurrently. And this is an important concept to understand when writing and designing circuits with VHDL. There are many types of concurrent statements that can be used in VHDL to describe circuits and represent the tools that you will use 
to implement digital circuits in VHDL. For now, we will take a look at four main types of concurrent statements. We have the concurrent signal assignment statements that we have used in our OR gate in our previous example, and we will further examine this type of statements in the next few slides. We have the conditional signal assignment using the when, and we have the selected signal assignment with select, and we have the process statements and more on process statements at the end of the video. Looking at the concurrent signal statements, the way that you would use such statements is as shown in the slide, where the signal source is assigned an expression, where the expression can be a constant, it can be a signal, or it can be a set of operators such as the AND or OR gates that operate on other signals. As an example of the concurrent statement as, or concurrent signal assignment statement, let's examine how we would write an OR gate that has three input ports. To design a three input port OR gate, we would first need to create the entity describing how it is describing the ports of the OR gate. And we have three inputs in one, in two, in three, and we have the out underscore or which represents the output of that or gate as for the architecture we can see that to describe the functionality of the or gate we just need to or the inputs notice the signal assignment operator that has the less than and equal sign together this is what we know in c or java to be the equal sign where VHDL uses these two consecutive characters to represent the assignment operator, meaning that we assign the specific, let's say, input, output, we assign the specific target signal to a specific operation or a specific expression. And in our case, we assign the output of the OR gate to the or operation of the three inputs using this signal assignment operator. This is what we mean by concurrent signal assignment statements. This will execute instantly or when the, there is any change in the inputs. The second type of concurrent statements is the concurrent signal assignment using the when. This type of assignment is used to describe statements that only have one signal that can have more than one associated expression assigned to it. And each of the expressions is associated with a certain condition. So we have a target signal that can be one of those expressions if one of those conditions were to be true. Or to be satisfied and this is the syntax of a conditional signal assignment that uses when to further understand this type of conditional signal assignment let's look at an example of a 4 to 1 multiplexer we know that multiplexers can control which input can be routed to the output Therefore, to describe the behavior of a multiplexer, we would first need to, of course, define the, in the input and output ports, where we have four data inputs, D0, D1, D2, and D3, as shown in the symbol of the 4 to 1 multiplexer. And then we have a select input as well, which will have two bits. So it's an STD logic vector, one down to zero. And we have one output that is of the STD logic type, which is denoted here as out underscore max. To describe the behavior of this multiplexer, using the when statement, which is the conditional signal assignment when, would be really useful. Since the output of the multiplexer depends on the condition of the select uh, input and how it looks like. If we had a select that was zero, zero, then we would route the D0 input to the output. 
If the select was 0, 1, it would route D1 to the output. If it was 1, 0, it would route D2. And if it was 1, 1, then it would route D3. Otherwise, it would default to an output of 0. Notice how we use the equal sign as a relational operator in the condition in this code snippet, where the select is matched to, to different values that are bundled together within double quotes. So the select can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. The last conditional statement we will take a look at is the selected signal assignment statement. The selected signal assignment statement syntax is as shown in the slide. Uses the with select statement, where it takes in, takes in a signal and evaluates and looks at the different choices of that signal or expression. And based on that choice, it will assign a value to the target signal. It's important to note that when we use the with select conditional signal assignment, the choices should not overlap between the different values that will be assigned to the target signal, and we need to cover all possible choices of the expression. Let's say that the expression has the options choice 1, choice 2, and choice 3. Then we would need to mention them all when assigning different values to the target signal. Also, it's important that we end this statement with what, when others to cover all remaining choice options. This assignment looks a little bit similar to the conditional signal assignment statement. However, it evaluates one expression that has multiple choices. To further understand how we can use this, let's model the same 4 to 1 multiplexer using the with select selected signals assignment. To do so, we would need to let the select signal or input port as the expression that we will evaluate the different choices of. And we will need to assign the output mux or out underscore mux output to different inputs when the select input is of a certain choice. If it was 0, 0, then the out underscore mux would be d0. When it's 0, 1, it would be d1. When it's 1, 0, it would be d2. When it's 1, 1, it is d3. And of course, we need to end the statement with when others, and we will assign a value of zero when none of the choices satisfy, um, let's say, the expression of select, or when none of the conditions are met. The final con concurrent statement that we will observe in this video is the process statement. The process statement is considered to be a concurrent statement that will execute in parallel to all other sections of the code and all other concurrent statements. However, it will it inside it contains sequential logic that will be executed sequentially. We will not go into more detail about how processes work in this video. However, this, this will be covered in a future video. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so through sharing the video or subscribing. You can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon member where you can find the notes behind this video in my Patreon page for this specific channel. The link for that is in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.